which is why you're tired. A lot of people feel really fatigued, particularly in the first week or two of doing carnivore. Um, mm. And they can't work it out. They're like, aren't I supposed to have such amazing energy? And then they have other people telling them they feel incredible because, you know, they, they could go all day on carnivore. What, what do you think the main reasons are why people feel tired? Yeah. Um, well, that, that, I mean, that's certainly one of them is, is the timing of their meals. A lot of people are used to, you know, you know, breakfast being the most important meal of the day and eating lunch and work and all these sorts of things. And so they're, they're eating a lot of food all, all, you know, right at the beginning of the day and their your bodies are just going like, yeah, let's, let's just chill out. We got our food. We don't why why waste it. You don't need to go get more food. We have food. And so, you know, just chill out, you know, we're, we're again, we're, we're living in a modern world with ancient genetics, you know, our, our, our genes have not really changed, uh, you know, all that much for the past 300,000 years or so. So, you know, we need to, we need to be appreciative of that. And so, you know, 300,000 years ago, you get a big meal, your body just goes, we don't need to do anything. The whole purpose was to get food and procreate. I mean, that's basically it, you know, in the animal world. And so obviously we have more, you know, facets and aspects to our lives now, but that's basically what it comes down to biologically. And so, you know, you're, when you're, giving your, bo- your body these biological signals, you're going to have a biological response. And so that, that's one thing is just thinking about that. And so when, when people are sort of eating big meals throughout the day and they're getting lethargic, you know, that's something to think about is you know, maybe, eat, you know, eat your big meal at, at the end of the day, you know, after you've done all your things and, and see how that goes and see if you have more energy throughout the day and just sort of drinking water throughout the day. And, you know, if, you, if you're starving or whatever, you can eat. What I do when I'm working out a lot, my body does want me to eat more and I can't get it all in in one meal. And so I, um, I may eat during the day, but I, I'm, I'm careful because if I eat until I'm full, um, you know, I'll just, I'll just be pretty low energy at work, um, at least for the first few hours. And then, um, and then, you know, I'm just not as, as, as you know, on point as I would like to be. Um, and then I'll eat again that night as well. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to eat sort of like half as much as I may want yeah. and, uh, and not completely stuff myself and just or, it still keep giving me that edge. So I give my body something that it wants, but I'm not, but my body's like, well, okay, it's not enough yet. We still got to go. Um, so that's, that's one thing. Um, also, you know, like getting, you know, fat adapted and things like that. This takes, this takes sort of a varying amount of time. So, you know, for me, it was just right away. Like I just, I just felt awesome, you know, day one, you know, I just felt better and better and better, you know, every day that I did this. And um, that's not the same for everybody. You know, it takes, it takes a varying amount of time. It can go from days to weeks, uh, generally not more than weeks. Um, but that, that can be another thing. Um, and then, you know, so that's just something you just have to wait out and you just have to see, uh, the other one is like, you you might feel crummy, you might feel really low energy and you're kind of like craving like a bit of sugar, but you kind of do need to just keep, keep eating and wait it out. Yeah. Just keep plugging away. You know, you you, you will get through that, that episode, uh, that period. And it's not all that long, you know, it doesn't take all that long. And, um, you know, the one is like not eating enough fat. You know, everyone goes like, well, I, I must be eating enough fat because basically I'm eating, you know, twice as much fat as I've ever eaten in my entire life. So, you know, to them, this is a significant amount of fat, um, but it's not, it's not always enough. You know, like I eat just ungodly amounts of fat now compared to my you know, former life, um, you know, when I, I would be cutting the fat off meat and, and uh, you know, drinking skim milk and things like that. And uh, you know, I don't drink milk at all anymore, but if I were to, it would obviously be full fat. And, um, you know, so it's, it's something that you just have to be aware of. And, and, you know, what I, you know, obviously tell people is that if your stools are dry and hard, then by definition, you're not getting enough fat, you mm-hmm. know, because it's that excess fat that's going to, that spillover effect, you know, that's going to spill out into your, into your stools. That's going to, um, give you, uh, soft stools. That's going to, to, um, uh, make it so you don't have constipation and hard stools. Uh, and so what that means is you're saturating your body, you, you're absorbing everything your body is able to absorb and then, and then some, and then, so that's how you can, you can gauge if your body's really getting all the fat that it actually wants to absorb. And, um, and so that's, uh, that, that's something to think about as well. And, you know, obviously this, this gets sort of muddled because, you know, people can, you know, be still drinking coffee or using artificial sweeteners, both of which will give you loose stools. And so that, that can sort of it confuses you know, the, yeah, the exactly. So you can't, you, know, you can't, you can't exactly tell uh, as well as, as you, you would be otherwise. And so yeah. try to try to avoid that, you know, um, also just withdrawing from caffeine, like you, you know, you're not gonna have be as great, but that, that, that's very transient. I mean, that's just like a few days or a week at the most. And then you start mm-hmm. feeling much better after that. 
Um, just to um, just to hammer hammer home the the consuming fat comment, uh, we've talked before about like a lot of people do well on getting seventy percent of their calories from fat, mm. uh, and so that means that if you were to order mince from the butcher uh, or ground beef, you'd be getting fifty fifty. Yeah. Now yeah. most ground beef is eighty five fifteen. Yeah. So put that into perspective, fifty fifty. So it will look quite yeah. white because half of it is fat. Yeah. And most butchers, you have to ask them to make it custom for you. And yeah. they actually, they, you know, normally they would just ground up a brisket um, or a chuck. They got to actually act, add e- extra fat in there as well. So that's, that's like the yeah. ideal ratio. Yeah. So yeah, it's something, it's something to shoot for anyway. So, you know, so yeah. to have that idea in your head, it's way more, way more fat than you. Have, have, exactly. have that idea yeah. in your head and try and work yeah. out what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but that's it, you know, aim for that you know, and, and you should aim for that and, uh, and realize that it's, it is that much fat. And then, you know, and then just, you know, stop drinking coffee, stop using artificial sweeteners. And then, and then you can gauge based on your stools. And, uh, and then you can sort of see, like, I don't, I don't know the exact percentage that I get, you know, yeah. but I, but I do know how to sort of adjust it as I go. And I do sort of know how much that, you know, uh, my body generally needs and wants, you know, if I'm eating sort of ribeye should be fine. You know, if I'm eating New York's, probably have to add some butter on it and things like that. That's usually how that goes, you know? Um, and then, yeah. And then lastly, it's, it's again, back to water, you know, no one drinks enough water, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and so they're, they're tired and you get, your, your body's just not going to work right. You know, uh, it's, just, it's just not, especially, you know, in the hotter, hotter months, you know, uh, people are just not getting enough water and they just don't, they, they're, they're not going to function as, as well. They're not going to function properly. Mm. Um, you know, I noticed when I, you know, when I was playing rugby, I remember, well, I, I always felt much better when I was, when I was really hydrated, you know, like sort of like two gallons a day, that was sort of my, my sweet spot. And, um, I, I, I couldn't really do more than that anyway, but like, that's how I really felt good on that. And, um, so with that, um, I, I remember I was coming into the season. I'd sort of missed the first few weeks because of something I don't even remember. And so I was, I was behind the eight ball. And so I, I was getting in there. I was basically back for like one week. And then I had a game that weekend. I'm like, okay, I'm like really out of shape. I'm not gonna be able to play very well, <laughs> but I can do something about my hydration. So like that whole week, I was just drinking two gallons of water a day, every day. And I just made sure I got two gallons a day. And that, that weekend, I was just running around. It was fine. I was just like, geez, I didn't realize I'm actually in great shape. I'm just running around, not getting tired. Everything's fine. And so I'm like, hmm, I must, I must be, I must be, you know, more awesome than I thought I was. And like, uh, you know, the next week I was just, you know, like all happy with myself and my fitness level. And so I just sort of wasn't as, as strict with it. I was drinking about a gallon a day that next game. Now I've got, you know, two weeks under my belt and a game and just felt like crap. Just absolutely. I was just dragging. I was just like, Oh my God, I was just breathing heavy. My whole body was you know, just, just you know, heavy and lethargic. I'm like, oh my God, that's terrible. So I was just like, so for me, bang, I banged it up to two, two gallons of water a day after that. And it was just, and, and just felt you know, fantastic again. Makes a big difference. Obviously you're doing sort of high intensity sports, you know, you, you'll see a more direct result and um, an impact on your performance, but it's going to affect your, your, your performance and how you, and your, how you feel in your energy levels, regardless of what you're doing. If you're just, you know, just working at an office versus, you know, your high intensity exercise, it just makes a big difference in your energy levels. Totally. Drink more water. It's free. It comes out of a tap in your house. <laughs> yeah. I know Australia is a, a, this is just a giant desert, but you, you still do have water here, you know, yeah, and, uh, it, not. it rains sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that, that would be my, my, my suggestions for that. 